Hi guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company and today is Sunday, January 28th. So um, yesterday I created, which you're probably seeing on Sunday, January 28th, because it would not post, of course, on a Saturday YouTube. Um, I posted a run, run to Hobby Lobby, especially if you sew, if you're a crafter, really like jump in your car and run. Um, because they had put out all of this just fabulous. They were marking down just so much of their incredible crafting sewing items. But remember I said in the video that I had to leave and she had only done like a third of the wall. I went back. I went back and got three more bags full of goodies. So I wanted to show that I know that the next video is supposed to be, and I've got my organizational stuff and I'm really super excited to start that too. And I'll be working on that later today in a whole nother video. But I, just, I have to show you so that um, I'm gonna post this Monday. Hobby Lobby isn't even open today. So you'll see both videos. My Hobby Lobby, that really had, no one had really touched it. I think, you know, maybe a few people had seen it. When I went back, I'm pretty sure they hadn't sold anything else. Um, I just stumbled upon it. You know, I just got lucky and stumbled upon it. So, all right, let me see. I'm just I'm so excited to show you. Um, so a few of these things were a little bit more expensive than uh, the others, and but worth it. Okay. Um, first, I want to show you this amazing little singer caddy, and I am very excited about this one. Uh, so this one was $9.99, and I think that that's a lot cheaper than you can even buy this normally. Remember, Hobby Lobby marks things, and then when they just, I'm betting that they're getting some of the same stuff in, it's just gonna be higher price. Now they could have changed the price on here, but it's really not the way they work, which is interesting. They kind of clearance out what they've got, bring in the new stuff. Um, so this was $4.99, so it was half price. Again, worth it. So. Let's open this guy up and show you what it does. Because I had purchased, in the last video I showed you all that I had purchased this from Timu. I was gonna use this on my sewing table. Now I'm gonna use this on my um, my paper craft table. If I can get this out. Okay. So, it is really nice simple i like the dividers in here it's got a no slip bottom and you can store more inside there with your pin cushion on top so oh it just pulls off it doesn't screw on off so pin cushion and then the caddy holds your different pieces uh, this is going to be great i think this is going to be fine i was already getting concerned i probably will still put felt on the bottom of this just so it doesn't scratch up the nice uh, acrylic <laughs> the nice... when did we start saying the nice acrylic I... I i i did um but this is a really nice singer piece so i'll have to look that up later and see what it's going for like online so i got a trash can um I will also say pieces like this, if they're in good condition, I sometimes just break it down, put it aside, and then when I want to do like a shaker, you know, I don't have to buy anything. Uh, this one, I don't know whether it's dirty right here or whether it's scuffed, but it has some good sections and some that look like they're probably scuffed. I'll take a look at it later. Let's see if I can break it down. If not, I actually just take it to school because we have a found and recycled lab. And then the kids find all sorts of really amazing things to do with that kind of stuff. I love it. It's really so cool. Maybe uh, at some point I can bring some pictures in of their projects because they really are just so incredibly creative. I'm, I'm always amazed by, by all these kids. Uh, um, anyway, um, so then I picked up this sewing kit. Now I think I showed you, I told you yesterday that I had picked mostly these, uh, this this design. Um, this was the other one, the darker design. I don't know if I have anything else. I don't think I picked up anything else with this design. I'll have to see in a minute. Um, but they only had, the sewing kit they only had in this design. And I want to see, it says it's loaded. So let's see. 
it says it's preloaded. This was originally $9.49 down to $4.74. Um, I have other little sewing kits. I even showed you a little uh, glasses thing that I, that I was talking about maybe using as a sewing kit. I actually might use it for some of my um, uh, rotary cutters. There we go. It was coming. It was coming. Um, because that's really nice and cushioned in there. Um, okay, so open it up. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Okay, let me get that piece in there. Look at that. That is nice. And this is, I only had one of these um, um, seam, not seam, yeah, yeah seam binder things. Um, let's see, the scissors are... I'm liking the way I always just listen to scissors. <laughs> Do y'all listen to scissors? <laughs> just my being weird. <laughs> I can absolutely accept it if it's just my, me being weird. Um, okay, so you have everything from the different threads, um, a little thing that holds needles. You've got these wonderful, um, oh, I'm sorry, you've got a tape measure, seam ripper, a nice pair of scissors, and then a, for hemming and um, seams. Uh, what's, let me see if I can find that thing. So yesterday I showed you all I had, it's all still in front of me. Um, I haven't had a chance to put it away. Oh, come on. So yesterday I showed you all that cute little, um, oh yeah, I did have another one, didn't I? That one. Uh, the one, um, if only I had a brain. A little like booklet that had pre um, threaded thread. Pre threaded thread. There you go. It's over here somewhere. I swear I did. Okay. The one I opened, I can't find. Here's the one I didn't open. Anyway, so this, I'm just going to turn. Yeah. So this is the kind of thing you can put right inside there. It's nice and thin, and you've already got the threaded needles, which is super cool. Um, so you've already got those ready to go. Very exciting. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see what's next. Um, this is even longer than my last one. Um, oh, this was very exciting. All right, so these are... Um, these are for purses, basically. So they, um, they're purse feet. You get eight of them in here. They were originally $1.99 down to 49 cents. And I got a bunch of these. How many did I get? One, two, uh, three. Did I just get four? Oh, I should have got one. Anyway. So I got four of them because along with purses, you can add these to the bottom. If you're creating a really nice box, like substantial um, almost like a little treasure test type thing. Uh, these can work with that. Um, they are like a brad. So the way that they, they come in and open up and hold on like a brad, but you can, you know, certainly you can use them for purses and things. Uh, so I ended up, I bought eight of those thinking, I know that I'll use them one way or the other. I do also sometimes make purses. Um, it's pretty rare for me to make a hard bottom bag. I have a couple that I want to make though. There's a couple coming up, so we'll see. Very, uh, not ever. <laughs> so when I'm crafting, I really should film everything that I make, but so often I start with my crafting like, I don't know how this is going to turn out. And I may stop questioning myself. I might just go ahead and make it and say, you know, and do, do it on camera so that I film everything for you guys. Otherwise, you know. Anyway, um, so these were so stinking cute. These are clothespins. Look at how cute these are. Oh my word. So you get three of each kind. They're li just little clothespins. You can use them for so many things. I often use stuff like this in junk journals. Um, they were $1.24, originally $4.99. And you get six of them. I bought two packs. I think this was the only style they had. Did they have another style? They may have had another style. I just didn't like. Um... I did pick up a couple of more of these. I showed these in my last one. These were originally $4.99 down to a dollar. 
49 these are for when you're making quilts so i now have plenty i don't make that many quilts so this is i think i have like 16 that might take me you know a year or two to do 16 quilts um y'all want me to film when i'm making quilts too just, just let me know um these are so cute all right these little like stick pins um they are adorable um $4.99 down to $1.24. Look at that cute little rotary cutter. So you've got your little quilt piece. These are two quilt pieces, um, one on either end, and then your scissors and your uh, pin cushion and your rotary cutter. I just think these are really, really cute. I did buy three. I don't need three, but I am putting some things away just for like a little gift basket. Because there's a, when you can buy like this, you can make a super cool sewing gift basket for someone. So I just thought that was going to be fun. Super fun. Um, look how cool these are. <laughs> I just found the cool stuff. Seriously. All right. So you've got two different kinds here. These, this is washi tape on a spool. Isn't that neat? All right, so let's look at this one. You've got like this this geometric pattern. These are thimbles, the um the the tape, the measuring tape and then pin cushions. And then on this one we have buttons, um just this uh decorative stitch, quilting and then spools. Um these were originally 5.99, 5.99, 5.99 down to $1.49. You really can't beat these prices. Um, and then I bought some more faux leather. And they sell it in their ribbon section. And they had, I bought some of it. Almost all of it had some was down clearance off, was being clearanced. And I was just, um, so I'm going to use these to make some small wallets. That's, that's my plan with these just to start with. Um, the cute cherries. I love this one. All right, it was $6.99 down to $1.74. Really, you can't beat these. These are all pretty much 24. They're, um, let's see, this one, uh, these are, this one's eight inches by 24, so eight by 24 length. Um, the pink one is the same. This was $5.99 down to $1.49. I truly think that this means, I don't think they're gonna stop carrying it. I think that they are clearancing it all out so they can bring in a bunch of new stuff with a higher price. That's really what I think. So grab it now. Grab what you can now if you if you use this stuff. Um, there's so much you can use, you can do with faux leather and they had everything. If you wanted like something that really looks like leather, like brown, or if you wanted something that looks like cowhide, or they had all of it. They had all of it. And, I don't remember seeing any of it that wasn't marked down to this to a dollar something. Um, so this one, the cream, um, isn't that nice? Six, it was. It was. That's interesting. So it says six ninety nine. This says five ninety nine, and this one was down to a dollar forty nine. So they use that price. Um, I found the lemons. I really love this one. Super love it. Uh, so this was six ninety nine down to a dollar seventy four. That's going to make a, an adorable wallet. And this one. Oh, got them. Seriously. Um, all right, so this one was $6.99 down to $1.74. They're all the same size. 8 by 24. I think all of those are. I thought I found one that was shorter, but I guess not. Oh, same size. Um, and the last one I got was just the red. So this one was... $4.99 down to $1.49. So the original price of these, which was probably about two years ago, the original price would have been $4.99. At this point, these have all gone up to about $6.99. You can see that they took the sale price from the $5.99 price. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw out my guess. My guess is it's gonna go up to $8.99. That's just my guess. I have nothing to go on by that. Do not take my word for it. That is just a pure conjecture. Okay. Look at this measuring tape. The, can't get the sizing. 
can't get it. I mean, not the fight scene, focus. There we go. I, I really, I know it's very dark, but I do think it's beautiful. I think this is really cute. Um, love beyond measure. And this one doesn't have a button on either side. You just press it. Uh, so this was $4.99 down to 99 cents. 99 cents. I mean, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's well-made and it's cheaper than Dollar Tree. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I did pick up some things that are normally quite expensive and they weren't cheap, but they were a lot less than I would normally pay. Um, so I did pick up these magic clips. These were originally $16.99. I got them for $8.49. Um, but they do have, uh, they have easy remarkings. They do measurements here. Um, I am, I'm pretty ha happy with these. I'm really excited to, I have never tried them. I'm very excited to try these out. If you've used these in the past, hey, let me know. Um, let me know what you think. If you've used the leather and you have any additional tips about how to use some of this leather, I'd love to see the tips in, in the um, comment boxes. Please join the fun. Um, so that was one of the more expensive items. And then let me pull out the other one. Because it kind of goes together. Here we go. Never, these were not on clearance when I had gone in earlier. Never in my wildest dreams did I think they were going to put the magic pins down. Um, so these are normally $10.99 down to $5.49. Um, so the, the, if you don't know these, they, what's really exciting about these is they are heat resistant. resistant. They're very thin. Um, not thin as in, you know, they're, going to snap when you put them in, but thin as in if you accidentally sew over them, you're probably not going to catch your needle. Uh, probably. There's no guarantees. Um, they do have a nice grip, so they've got an easy grip on top. So I found this one, which is, these are the um, one and three quarter inches, um, and then I found the two and a quarter inches. So these were $10.99 down to $5.49. Um, definitely on the more expensive side, but again, worth it. Um, they had quite a few. This is, you know, when I start getting beyond the dollar, two dollar mark, I start to pull back a little bit. Um, so I, yeah, I only got one of each. You know, I, well, I would love to have more of these just because they're so easy. They're so nice to use. And honestly, I only have one or two that I got like as a sample when I was at a quilt show. Um, I'm very excited about those. I very excited. <laughs> um, okay, so on the higher end, and, and there was a, a lot of these, you know, you can see there was a lot that's still only half price. These are not 75% off. Um, I certainly found some things that were 75 or, or more. It's been interesting as they're, whatever they're doing to this wall, it's not all the same discount. Um, so I picked up this, this goes with the other ones that I was buying. Um, this is pretty cool. All right, this is a folding sewing organizer. It was $11.99 down to $5.99. Isn't that cool? So it pretty much is gonna store everything. And quite frankly, if you're looking for, and, and it's got the nice, you know, water resistant, you could absolutely use this for makeup. Um, you could use it as a toiletry kit. Get this thing out. Ugh. One moment, please. I dropped the tag. Um, and I wanted to show you, let me pull this piece off. I wanna show you how they show it in the picture. I always think it's interesting that they put like the price tag right over the actual tag. It would be so easy to put it there and it wouldn't, they don't use the UPC codes at Hobby Lobby, so just my two cents. All right, let me see if I can get that to focus better. I don't know why it's not focusing well. Super weird. All right, ah, there we go. Okay. So they've got like your rotary cutter up here. They've got just all sorts of stuff going on in here. Um... But again, sometimes I do travel. 
I did look at the bags again and they were just, I don't need them. I mean, do I need anything? <laughs> anyway, the bags were more on the expensive side, even more so than these. So I decided to forego them. So I just got some of the other ones. Um, I did get this because I don't have one. I usually use a piece of quilted, a quilted piece to go over the top and I can make a sewing machine cover. Um, and I may at some point, but I actually have a couple of sewing machines. I just, sometimes I, I have a more heavy duty one. I have my daily one. You know, if you really sew, how many of you, okay, help me out here. Okay, so I don't feel it. How many of you who are sewers have more than one machine? Is it, oh. It just didn't refocus. That's so weird. My phone's weird. Um, so how many of you who who sew a lot or quilt have more than one machine? Please tell me it's not just me. Okay. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> it might just be me. Um, they had this and they had this one. And I just kind of decided I was going to mix it up a little bit. Oh, that's the little... Um, and again, it's this kind of water resistant type material, um, that will go over the top of it. Not that I intend on dropping water on it, but all right, what else? Not much more to go here. So I did, this was nice. This little art bin was over there. Um, uh, and this was, and there may, I wonder if they've got more. They only had, I think one of these over in this section. And so if you're interested, they might have more in the art section. Um, this was originally $3.99 down to $1.89. It's a six by six. How deep is it? It doesn't actually say how deep it is. Let's take a look. Um, about two and a half inches deep. It's about two and a half inches deep. Uh, so I just thought that was a nice size. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it at the moment, but it's organizational. I'll use it. I'll use it. I'm sure. Um... This was fun. So these were $2.99 and down to 62 cents. And this little thing, which you could use for your eyeglasses if you wanted to, is actually intended to hold rotary cutters. So if uh, so, the truth is um, my organizational bag, I would still probably put my rotary cutter inside something like this. Um, just to be extra careful or the ones that fit. I have some that have that as nice or ergonomic, um, handles, but I also have the straight cutters. Um, so how many of you have several rotary cutters? Just saying, like, it can't just be me. I mean, I guess it could just be me. Um, and then this was, this was a really good buy. So this was weird. Um, it is just a jar of buttons. Pretty cool. I gotta focus in on it. Um, so this nice jar of decorative, but that's a really cool button. I like that one. Decorative buttons just for different projects. Uh, this was originally $12.99 and it was down to $2.49. So like 80% off, um, something like that. Uh, so, I wasn't going to get it. I was like, yeah, you know, nice to have some extra buttons around. Then I found, this was super exciting. Um, I don't always, I, well, I kind of rarely use patterns, but occasionally I do. And this one was super cool because it has all of these different potholder patterns and patterns that you can use with other things too. I mean, it doesn't have to be potholders. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. Um, I really like this turkey. This would make a really cool quilt with the turkey design on it. So the, you have that one that you could use for a quilt. Um, where was the other one? You know, something like this you could use in quilting. Certainly, I've actually done that quilt. Um, this one. So it has a lot of really cool stuff in it. Here are the pattern pieces, which I would probably, um, well, sometimes I'll cut them out on, you know, that really thin, like cutting board-ish stuff you can get at Dollar Tree. It's very flimsy. It's really just like plastic. Sometimes I'll trace that out in um, these pattern pieces out on um, 
on that with a Sharpie. And then I'll cut those out and they're more substantial. Um, but look how cute that is. These are, these are very cute. I like the apple. These are just really cute. Um, and just nice to have the patterns. Oh, look at that Christmas gingerbread guy. Oh, he's really sweet. Um, so this a book was originally fourteen ninety nine down to three forty nine. Three forty nine, three seventy four. It's reading wrong. Um, so three seventy four. So uh, that was that is it for those clearance items. Super excited! Holy cow! You, there's a y'all know there's a big pile in front of me. Um, and then the last thing I actually got, I went over to the. Um, uh, Big Brit and Little Brit had gone to pick up sandwiches because we had, we actually went to see a movie last night. Um, it'd been a long time since we've gone out to see a movie. So we went to see a movie last night. We went to see Beekeeper, which if you like action movies was excellent as now, oh, we really like action movies. If you like the action movies, it is well worth a watch. And Jason Statham. Just saying. My husband knows. <laughs> uh, anyway, Waiting for them to get back after picking up sandwiches after the meal. They had dropped me off to like, so I could take my time. Wandered over to the Valentine's section and picked up this bag of these really nice size. I mean, that's big um, size wooden hearts. This was $3.49 and it was 40% off. Um, now, this was interesting because I found wooden, you know, and there are 12, 12 pieces in here. These are... 4.09 by 4.45 inches. They had a smaller one, considerably smaller, probably more like that size for the same price. Same number of them, same price. Again, I think this is one of their older issues. I think that they brought it back out um, and they're just getting rid of it so that next Valentine's Day, they don't have them. So if you see these and you're interested, now's the time to pick them up. And the thing I love about the heart shape is Really, it's good for any time of the year. You can do anything on the heart shapes. It is good for any time of the year. It is not so um, holiday specific. Um, like they only had one of these, or I probably would have bought more than one, and I plan on doing that project coming up soon. So I've got a lot of projects. That's it. That is it. Everything I got at uh, my second venture into Hobby Lobby yesterday. Um, Super cool. Like I said, if you are, if you sew, even if you don't sew, there's so much here that can be used for so many other things. Um, it is well worth your time. Well worth your time. Just saying. Just saying. And some of the um, bags that they had, they had, I think it was this one. They had, uh, it like a, it's all like a tote bag, like a really big tote bag. So it opened up, it had a bunch of pockets, it had nice handles. I mean, it had a nice wide. I should have gotten it just for that. I didn't even think about that. Uh, and I was thinking sewing machines, sewing machines, but it would be great for anything. Truly. I mean, honestly, if you have people who, who are swimmers, all of the things that you can put in that tote bag would be amazing. I really should have perked it up. I should have picked it up. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I spent enough money. I, this is probably my spend for the month. I'm just saying. <laughs> Although it was much cheaper than it would have been. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to leave you guys to having a wonderful day. And um, and again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that like button, please. Um, make a comment. I'd love to hear. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. I would love to hear what you have to think um, or what you think about everything. What was your what were your favorite items? Have you used the magic pens? What do you think about those? Um, so leave me some comments. Hit the like button. Tell your friends to subscribe. Share the videos out into the world. That's that would be you know amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you later. Cheers.